Oh, it's him. I'll be taking my leave now. Still have some work to do back at the office. Then I guess I'll go back to my piano. To be honest, it's better than you aren't playing. This frigid culinary dungeon almost feels comfortable. Later, then. Hey, Charles. Yeah, I, really like being I really love being Kristoff, because he's got this, like, very polite tone with, like, a bit of, like, barely contained malice underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Two hours after my shift. Wonder if we'll get any customers today. <clears throat> Do you know who I am? Who I am? No, but if you hum it, I can play it. Just kidding. I don't do requests. How about a different sort of request? You see, I play cards. Oh, a customer. I was just hoping someone would come in and save me from a night at the keys. I seek a true competition. I have heard the Borscht Bowl Club is the place for this. Now I see that the rumor is true. And this... <laughs> it's haunting you. It's him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. Wait, he wasn't... What? Huh? But... Huh? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. He wasn't here mm -hmm. before, was he? He wasn't here before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, they never... No one ever testified to him being here. Why did nobody tell me this motherfucker was here? Mm -hmm. oh. I'm a ninja. <laughs> no one and, knew I was there. And this is... a friend of yours? Uh, I don't mind me. I'm just your friendly neighbor who knew me. Uh, he he, he sucks so tonight. much. I can't, I can't believe how few good journalists there are in Ace Attorney. Yeah. It makes my heart, makes my heart hurt. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mina. I'm so sorry for you. Um, <clears throat> when his business is finished, I shall send him home. This competition will be between us, no others. All right. I have changed. I have changed tones completely now. <laughs> the right talent agency represents two artists, and I'm number two. I play piano. Well, sort of. He's number two because he's shit at piano. It's actually just a front for my real talent, which is playing poker. Here we go with those cards again. Don't ask me how I got started. I don't remember. But I'm good. Real good. It didn't take long for the rumors to get around. Go to the Borscht Bowl Club if you want a real game. That guy, That guy's never lost. People don't come to hear me tickle the ivory. They come to watch me play cards. I wonder if Phoenix has even cared to improve his piano playing. I don't think so. Is this a seedy poker club? No, it's a restaurant. We don't play for high stakes. There's no money involved. But real players carry cash, and they're always thirsty. It's a handy source of income for the club owner. Then let's compete. I'll take you to the room. The hideout, yes. But before we go... Okay, have you seen the image of Emma with the shadow of Russell behind her? No, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the first I hear of something like that. <laughs> yes? Allow me to introduce myself. And yes, it's true. We'll see, the... we will see the only good journalist in the mainline games in the DLC for 5, which is why it's very important to play the DLC for 5. Okay, I mean we're gonna we're, we're definitely gonna play it. We're gonna have, we have to do all the content. Yeah, and chronologically, it, it's the third, it's the fourth case. Oh no, third case, third case. So we'll, oh, we'll okay. play it Cool. Oh, and I'm Brushel, Spark Brushel, news reporter. Oh, I'm. No, no, Phoenix Wright. Huh? You must always look a man in the eye when you make your introductions. You still do not know who I am? Have we met? Ah! Oh, yeah, so Phoenix does remember. Hello again, chat. We're... Yeah, we're just gonna skip through this. Goodbye, chat. 
fuck. I can't get over how much of a douche Clavier looks like. <laughs> he looks like yeah. such a douche. <laughs> you can't be, but you're Zach Grammary. Yes, the reincarnation act of the century. Pity I have only an audience of one. You. Zach Grammary, this must be a bad dream. In a sense, this guy ruined my life. You there? The, oh my God! I have to voice Olga again. Yeah. The, da. We will play soon. Ready the room. Da. I will be preparing the hideout for you. Okay. That's all. Bye, Olga. Bye, Olga. Goodbye. <laughs> she died soon after. <laughs> She doesn't die. Are you really him? She just The Zach Grammary? Now I am Shady Smith. Remember this. How many years has it been now? Six? In exactly three days from now, it will be seven. I caused you so much inconvenience, I fear. I'm yeah. not sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you it, could say I'm that not again. Sorry for any of it. <laughs> Is. She well? Trucy, I mean. She's fine. I've got her working already. Hope you don't mind. I hardly need express my gratitude, but you have it. So, Luca, remind me of what uh, what Zach's plan was in Chapter 1 again. To humiliate Phoenix, right? <laughs> to, to ruin him. To ruin him? Yeah. <laughs> He's like... Pay no mind. Pay no mind like... to the suspicious Russian barmaid that wasn't in this Borscht Ball Club before, but now is. Uh, he, yeah, he's he's just like, you know, you're the one who's taking care of my daughter and putting food in her mouth and whatever. I'm gonna ruin you. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you both suffer. Why? What is wrong because with this man? Asshole. Because I'm a there's, jerk. <laughs> there's literally no reason for it. Like as far as I remember, the only reason he wanted to do this was for the you know the thrill of humiliating him. What the fuck? Like, he's willing to throw his own daughter under the bus just so that he can feel superior. What is wrong with this guy? I'm a jerk. <laughs> I hate him. This is why I have come. That and to settle a matter of cards. By which you mean poker? Those eyes. He's serious. I despise losing above all else. And so... I had decided that I will whip tonight, no matter what it takes. I know this guy's type, and they're dangerous. Everything's about the competition, all else is secondary. Perhaps we should take the time to talk, before we play. I know you have much to ask me, and I have much to tell you, and I you. Like, for example, Flaring is the only fully evolved fire type Pokemon who does not learn poetry. <laughs> Just yeah, going back to the mini as, joke. As soon as we finish this case, Luca, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the Zach Grammary as a jerk I, comic. And I we, will read we it. Need to, no, no, we need to read it on stream. Oh, voice it. okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude. Oh yeah, I will be up for that. We competed that we competed that day seven years ago too. Ah yes, you must have been surprised. Call to the detention center, I the blue. What? Is this new? Two. Two. The number two. Wait. Oh yeah, it's the dialogue from there when they were playing cards. One. Oh. Showdown time. Oh, they played cards before. I I lost. Wait. Oh. This is the dialogue we got. This, this is the dialogue that we got before. before. Yeah. yeah, but now you're advancing it in English. Oh my god, we actually have context for that now. Weird. You choose your defense attorneys by playing poker. Some are hired and others are fired. Oh my and god, he white. Oh my god, he is wearing Kiryu's suit. He's literally yeah. like Kiryu from like Yakuza Zero, right? 
he's he's the anti Kiryu. He's got a he's got a mustache and an evil looking beard and But he's, he's wearing like, he's wearing the exact same suit. But instead of adopting children, he gives his child away. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> he gives his child away. Yeah. Instead of adopting children, he ruins children's lives. Ugh. <laughs> when you compete, you see a man's true nature. You know what I speak of? I know that you do. Uh, by the way, I like how the villain music has been playing this entire time. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder why. Actually, yeah, uh, this is the the Troop Grammarie song, I think, actually. Like, not maybe not Troop Grammarie, no, but they've been, no, they've like, been playing the, they've Grammarie. been playing this throughout the entire game for, like, bad people. Trucy's power? Mm -hmm. Trucy? She's in a class of her own. Why does Mubot say that's the wrong channel name? What the fuck, Mubot? Also, why are you here, <laughs> Mubot? What the fuck? I don't need you anymore. They were summoned. <laughs> For seven years, I've played poker here at the Borscht Bowl Club, and I've never lost once. I'm good, but not that good. I win because whenever there's a big game, I bring in Trucy. Oh, so you cheat. And she sends me signals. Oh, because she can... Read people. And listen, man's gotta eat. <laughs> a man's gotta eat. She can read man's people. Gotta... She can read people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not It's not cheating so much as it is just getting some advice. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not like she's peeking at her cards. It's just having someone on your team no, who's I'm very not even, good No, I'm not even on that anymore. I'm just on the fact that Apollo also has this innate ability. Oh. Yeah. Makes you well, think. Well, I guess Apollo doesn't have it. His bracelet has it. Yeah, his bracelet what lets is... him... It gives him the, the gives him the jimmies whenever he's uh, <laughs> looking for something spooky. Yeah, yeah, it gives him... Yeah, it gives him a funny little tingle on his back, and if he concentrates on that, he can turn Super Saiyan. Where did that bracelet come from? Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it come from? <laughs> Got an eye, Joe. Daddy, he's got a good hand. You might have a chance to get quick. Better call him soon. Hmm. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Grammar, well, this, this is gonna look bro this is gonna look broken for a bit. <laughs> Remove Zach from the game. <laughs> he's out. He's gone. <laughs> this is a he's he's vanished for real now. Sprites. What? Maybe when you change the sprites, it'll it'll change. Like oh, when you just maybe. Expression. Yeah. Can you tell me what her power is? <laughs> Judging a person's thoughts by reading their reactions is a staple of performance magic. But those are Trucy's lines. Did it just move? Did it just move? <laughs> yeah. It did move. Oh, I can't believe someone deleted his game file. <laughs> Hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this really quick. Gee, I wonder who did it. <laughs> Let's do this really quick. Zag deleting himself off the game. It always it it happened last time. It happened with Trucy last time, I think. It's yeah. It's whenever it turns. Yeah, whenever it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, not from a flashback. Oh. From from specifically one of those cutscene flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, 3D cutscene, I think. Yeah. And yeah, it just fails to load the character model. That's very funny. Sorry about that. It's been a little bit of an incident. <laughs> Recall, you were the second man to whom I've lost. Magnifique Grammary. That was the first time I learned of this power, as you call it. Wait, so you're saying... Her power is genetic? It's just in the Grammary blood or something? Blood. 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 It's blood. I'm a vampire. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is not something told lightly to outsiders. And it is nothing you need to know at this time. Alright, cool vibe, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you specifically. <laughs> it's some kind of grammar -y secret then. Fine. Uh, I don't think we can do anything with that. Also... If I were to get evidence in the future, would I be able to use it in the past? 
You can indeed. Yeah. What you the can. fuck does that mean? What? Magical time traveling computer, Magic. Baby. It's the magic of technology. She's 15 this year. She's still trying her best to follow in your footsteps, you know. I see. Yeah, she cares more about her family than you do. <laughs> when I planned my disappearing act, it was the thought of her alone that gave me pause. Wait, you were planning on vanishing from the get-go? Yes, and for that I must apologize. However, I could not be found guilty that day. Because of this. This? A transferal of rights. You see the signature? A transferal... That's Magnifique Grammarie's signature, isn't it? What? This is the actual, page. Yeah, the actual last page of the diary, and he, he had it, and did he not give it to you. Why he, did he, he give this to me? He actively withheld it, despite the fact that you were being disbarred. <laughs> what an asshole! He could have fixed everything, and he was like, nah, I gotta watch out for number one. What a bastard! I hate this man. I hereby give all rights to the secret staging and performance of my magic to the recipient name below. And the recipient's name is you, Zach Grammary. He's like, I can't, I just love Mag, uh, like, Magnifique Signet Magic. Yeah, tough luck, Valent. Yeah, Better fuck, luck next time. Fuck off, kid. <laughs> have, fun, have fun working at McDonald's, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Magnifique Magnifi was also kind of a dick. Yeah, seems like it. Yes, it is I, Zach Grammary. Wait, this page looks torn. You recall the diary, yes? Yes, you recall I, the thing? I remember it well. <laughs> recall the very thing that got you into all that trouble? I For hate it was this. I who had the true page. I, <laughs> hate, I hate this man. <laughs> How could I forget? That scrap of paper lost me my attorney's badge. This is the real page that was torn from the book. Magnifique gave it to me that night. You could have told me this earlier, like seven years earlier. Once again, I must apologize. I was too busy being a dick. Fuck. It was all I could do to prepare for my escape from, the, from that crime. What does that mean? Yeah, what? What does <laughs> that mean? If I, woo, if I Makes had no this, sense. if I had this, I could have found you innocent, and you wouldn't have had to escape. Yeah, I what think. What is I, wrong I fear... with you? Gas leak. You no, know, it's not even a gas leak. It's just that he's so terminally selfish that he he wasn't even willing to show it. Because if that's evidence, then he can't use it to take the tricks anymore. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember when we were, when we were talking about like uh, the noodle that stand and how that, that, that wouldn't become that evidence. evidence. That wouldn't just no, no. The transfer of rights being signed by that it makes them his, regardless of where the paper is. I think no, because you, you, you would have to go through legal proceedings in order to get the rights to those tricks. Why would he have to do that? That's yeah, how that works in real life. He inherited them. You'll, you'll see in a second, but they explain how the process works. This is... Oh. <laughs> Luca, lo Luca losing her shit, just like the good old days of Cerny. Yep. It's it's true. The the selfish actions of this one dickhead are the cause for the entire quote-unquote dark age of the law. What the fuck? Oh yeah, the dark age of the law. You'll see that in the next game. Cookie, there's a line here, by the way. Oh yeah, uh, <clears throat> greatest of Magnifi Grammarie grammary solutions are, the, are true art. Did you almost do it too? <laughs> I was about to say Grammarie, the, oh. the way I knew how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as such, they are well protected by this document. Only its bearer may perform his solutions on stage. Sounds like a pretty important thing to have if you're his disciple. As the rightful heir to his art, I, too, wanted a rightful heir. 
That's why I went fucking around so many women. Rightful? I'm sure you know who I chose as my successor. Your daughter. That is why I have risked all come here tonight. Rushil? Wha- Oh no. Sir! Ah, here you go. What's this? A letter in the rights I have inherited to Trucy. I will have you sign here as a witness. B but I'm not a lawyer anymore. And you need a public notary besides. Ah, I might not look it, but I'm a certified notary. Are you? You are? Well, <laughs> by day, I wear a notary's glasses and hunt for news. Also by day, I wear a reporter's glasses and notarize. <laughs> I hate this man. When I take off the glasses, I can't see very well. Alright. <laughs> Your signature, please. What's the first reason I have to come here tonight? Okay. So... Ah! I finally figured that out. Now I know why you've come out of hiding only now. It's been seven years, you said? Precisely. There's a law that covers your situation. After seven years, missing persons are considered to be legally deceased. Well... <laughs> yeah, so, I'm dead. if someone was to vanish from the face of the Earth seven years ago, they would lose all rights as a living person after seven years from that day. Not to mention all of their possessions. Exactly. Which is why I'm here. I'm a ghost! Oh shit! I risk showing my face in public for the sake of this document. Before my seven years are up. You might say, I am securing my daughter's inheritance. But do you really need this document? Wouldn't Trucy inherit your estate automatically? Not in this case, I'm afraid. This case? Yes. I received the performance rights from Magnifique Grammarie. However, this was done in secret, without witnesses. Before Magnifi died, two potential successors to his repertoire were named. Myself, Zach Grammary, and Valent Grammary. Not Trucy. I see. So you do need this document. I have known Brushel since before I vanished. He is a money trust. No! I would not trust any man this guy trusts. I would not trust... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now, only three know of my rebirth. I took the liberty of looking into Trucy's background. I found you had no other close kin. It is as you say. I have no friends. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay. Gee, I wonder why. I was kind of hoping you'd say something about the mother at this point. I know everyone else, but Trucy's mother is a mystery. Oh, we can't ask. Uh... We don't know about the grammar secret yet. Hey, man, what's this? This person in the photo is Trucy's mother. Huh? How did you come by this? Trucy showed it to me. She said her mother was gone. So, huh? She is gone. What more is there to say? Um, lots. Yeah, I know, I know. Whoa, you're still here? Mhm. Mm According to my in-depth research, Trucy's mother, Magnifi Grammarie's only daughter. End quote. Oh. So, mm -hmm. Trucy is Magnifi Grammarie's granddaughter? Yep. W what? Magnifi's daughter? Is that true, Mr. Zack? Roger, you say too much. Now he's gonna ask me shit I don't wanna say. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why am I the bad guy? Why? Because you look the way you do. Stop doing that. <laughs> 
I didn't ask to be born like this, looking like a cotton swab. Zach decked him. Good. In any case, Mr. Wright, this discussion is over. Talasa Grammary. She's the most mysterious of the whole lot. I need to gather me some more evidence, clearly. Well, the prelude may have taken may have been longer than the main attraction. Shall we begin our game? My final competition? Final? Why? As you said, I have come out of hiding today to make this document legally binding. Once that is done, I shall slip once more underground. Well... You sure will, bud. I sure will. Without and nobody can stop me. Without seeing your daughter? Hmm. It would be best if I did not. Seven years ago, we played. And seven years ago, I lost. I already lost to Bagnifi. I do not care to lose to another. And I have heard that you never lose. It's just Except a rumor. Your match. <laughs> yes, for it is impossible to never lose, unless one has an ace up one's sleeve. As a magician, it causes me no end of irritation. To think a mere lawyer might be out there, pulling the wool over so many eyes. Hey, I just signed your document for you. Maybe you could try lightening up? No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. This is this. For my final competition, I will destroy your perfect record, Phoenix Wright. Why? <laughs> because I'm a jerk. This will like, be this it's literally will be just for his problem. ego. There's That's no other it. reason. He j he just wants to beat him because he's salty that he lost at poker one time. I yeah, hate he this just man. Wants, he wants his fucking salty run back so badly. He, this man he is sucks. So, he is so intensely detestable that he set up a. He tried to frame this guy that he knows isn't guilty of forging evidence of of cheating, so that he could ruin him. And ruin his livelihood uh, for no reason other than he lost to him once before and that made him mad. I hate Zack. This guy is beyond serious. So much for a fun evening of cards. Rachel, you may leave now and not be a character in this case. Thank you. Oh, but, but it's just last game. I mean, what a scoop. I punch and I punch, but still, it is not enough. <laughs> Do I have to kill you now? <laughs> I, I just remember a f future er er prior engagement. Toodles, Enderman. Oh, and nice meeting you, Piano Man. Goodbye. Thank you, goodbye. He died soon after this scene. <laughs> then let us begin. Tiller? Da. You will be witness to our competition. Da, it is honor for me. Why haven't I seen her around here before? Gee! I wonder why. I, wonder. I like how he has to cheat. Like, he's doing this for his ego, and he's still gonna cheat. Yeah. He doesn't care about actually winning, he just wants to ruin him. The, the end game is all that matters. The end game of destroying the man who's clothing and feeding his daughter. Ah... Uh. Mm -hmm. I hate her. Uh, that reminds me. I saw a familiar face as I entered this restaurant. He did not seem to notice me, however. Gavin, I believe was his name. You know him? After a fashion. <gasps> Listen, Phoenix Wright. One can learn much from a true competition. Remember this. He know right. Of course, he would have to know Kristoff. Because why else would Kristoff have a motive for murder, right? We never got that. Hmm. The grammary power. Wait, he had a fucking. 
psyche lock thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you can still come back to it later. Oh, I, can, I can come back to it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was close to understanding it, but I needed more. And I knew where to get it. Trucy's mother. I'd need to meet that reporter again, that was clear. And one other thing. From the moment my final competition with Zack began that night, a name was running through my head. The name of a man now in prison. A name Zack Grammary knew. But how? And why? Christoph Gavin. Goodbye, Chad. Okay, let's take a break. I have to pee. These are right. really fucking... What the fuck? Fuck off yeah. with that! We're visiting someone in prison. I wonder... Yeah, I wonder who we're visiting. I'm Money wondering. talks. Ugh. Okay, uh, yeah, quick break. We'll be back. Do you want to talk to Clay? Oh, I have it muted. Here we go. Do you want to talk to Clavier first, or... Could go here. Oh, that's not the right button. No. You know what? Let's do this first. Wow. I like how this place looks like such a hole. Yeah. Because they, they, he just completed the big job that bought them the newest place, right? Oh, right, right, right. So wait, this, this is a different studio. This is a different studio, yeah. Vera said that after they did that big job seven years ago, they moved to the current place. But this looks... They had to reuse the assets, but... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the exact same place. <laughs> yeah. Like they just they just they, like they they just put some wallpaper up and called it a new studio. <laughs> <laughs> he just blindfolded her and um spun her in a circle <laughs> and then that was good enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess this is me. Yeah, I, guess, I suppose this is probably you. I figured you'd come here sooner or later. Hello. I decided on sooner. Drew Misham, was it? I I haven't done anything illegal. Oh boy, you sure have! And I didn't come here to whine about past events. I wanted to ask you some questions. I suppose you have that right. He f How is this not illegal? What are you talking about, sir? Wait, was that new? Oh, that was new. Fuck, I thought it was a flashback. <laughs> it's okay. I admit, it made quite an impression on me. I'm used to finding myself in outrageous situations. In its right, was it? I'll answer what I can. I'm not sure, but it feels like I'm being watched intensely. Oh, oh! Baby Vera! Little baby. Little baby! <laughs> Ah, uh, this is my daughter, Vera. Say hello. Bye! She's gone. Shall we begin then? Oh wait, oh wait, I wanna see what... Oh no, yeah, so <laughs> this is the same place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Judging from this place, you're a painter? Not sadly, I've worked on a man. I've never sold a painting. It's a source of considerable embarrassment. I would be able to get by if it only me. Your daughter? Bear notebook, it's so cute. It's, it's so cute. Like, this game is very good at, at making you just like fawn over the the young characters. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, Mazo. We're very up in left. I don't want her to grow up needy, Mr. Wright. A lot of deadbeat parents in this game, huh? They sure are. <laughs> that is why I can as a occupation. Forgeries. Don't look at me those eyes. I know what it is that I do. 
more than half of the paintings they bring me stolen. And who knows what my copies are used for. But some of your works aren't paintings, correct? You may not believe me when I tell you this. But that was my first work at side painting. What? To think it would be used as evidence in a murder trial. I never even imagined the possibility. Oh yeah, I just remembered he's not the one that does the forgeries. Yeah. That sucks. Then why did you take the job? I was fair paid. Very fair paid. I think he feels worse about it than I do. The past is hard to escape. Honestly, the sooner I can put this behind me, the better. With apologies to you, of course. Sorry, but it's not going to be quite so easy. It, honestly, I do sympathize with them because if someone offered me $100,000 to make a diary page, I would probably say yes. I wouldn't think too hard about it. Yeah, it's a lot of money. $100,000 is a lot of money. Yeah. He's, he's like poor a... and he has a daughter to feed. Like, I can't blame him. Yeah, it's a life-changing amount of money. Yeah. He's trying to forget what he made. Looks like I'll have to remind him. Oh. Just wave it in his face like, Hey, remember this asshole? Your work. Don't try to pretend you've forgotten. Sure, all you did was make a copy. But that copy might have destroyed the life of an innocent man. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm responsible too, which is why I have to know. And you have to tell me. Uh, I knew it would be difficult to escape this. Then let's talk. He's definitely more sympathetic than Zach, yeah. Way more sympathetic. <laughs> Fuck Zach. When his hair drips like that, it kinda looks like a paintbrush. I mean he always looks like a paintbrush. Kind of. It I think that, like, that's, what, that's what his hair is supposed to be, I'm pretty sure. When he looks head on, it looks like half of his hair is Ludwig von Beethoven and the other half is Jackson Pollock. Mmm. Which, like, I don't think that Beethoven's intentional because that's no. a musician, not an artist. I think, it's, it, I think it's supposed to look like a paintbrush, but it does look like Beethoven. Yeah. Well then, ready to tell me about this work you did? It was unlike anything I had attempted before. I guess it would be a little different from paintings. That is not what I mean. In all my previous work, it sufficed to create a copy. This wasn't a copy? The client gave me two things that day. The first was a sample page as reference. The second, a printed document I can only surmise was written by my client. So you use the real writing as a reference to reproduce what the client wrote? Yes. As I said, it was my first job of that nature. So... Who was your client? As I said in court, I do not know. Really? Even for such a suspicious request? If it was me, I'd want to know as much as I could about the requester. I... I never met them. Not personally. I... No, he would have had to. Because, like, wasn't he, like, the face for the operation? Yeah. We've established this in the future. So, he had, he would have had to have met them. Ah, a psyche lock, of course. It seems like you're still hiding something. Something about this work. Grumble. I don't know if I can do that right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go give our, our bespectacled friend a visit first. Yeah. He has such a fancy fucking cell. Yeah, that's what money does. It's like fucking um, Al Capone. He had a really fancy cell in Alcatraz, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. Oh, what's that on the desk there? A yellow envelope! A... Huh. 
Is... Is... Kristoff the one that did this? Hey, Kristoff, what's up? Well, well, isn't this an unexpected surprise? What errand brings you down to my cramped confines? Gavin. Yeah, this is... Oh! Revenge. Revenge. So he did do it. That's such incredible foreshadowing, like, the very first case. Yeah. You look well, Phoenix, right? You too, Gavin. You're still alive, surprisingly. I guess he has to be. Otherwise, we couldn't have this scene. <laughs> I like how he says Gavin's murder. Because it's the murder that Gavin did, but it was the murder of Shady Smith. So it should be Shady's yeah. murder? Slim Shady's murder? Yes. Life has been full of surprises. For both of us. I have no doubt you never expected to lose your attorney's badge of yours. And I'll bet you never expected to wind up here. Shady Smith was the name of the man you killed. Did you know who he really was? Who he was? Zach Grammary. You know, the defendant. I remember him, of course. Oh, look at that evil face! <laughs> what do you say, Smith was Zach? Impossible. What do you mean? Don't even try to tell me it was a coincidence. What did I just say? Life is full of surprises, don't you think? Hello, Cookie. After that trial, you were found you were arrested and found guilty. But your motive was never made clear. A mistake I plan to remedy. You're not an attorney anymore, Phoenix, right? What possible conclusion do you think this investigation of yours can lead to? I killed a man named Smith with a bottle because I am an evil human being. That's a good screenshot. Ugh. <sighs> it's just evil. I don't believe you, motherfucker. That's like such a yeah. cold cover. He's like, I did it because I'm pure evil. Yeah. You gonna? Somebody asked Kristoff, "You gonna wash your hands?" And he says, "No, because I'm evil." <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that enough? Not for me, it isn't. I need to know why you did it, Gavin. Okay. You recall that case seven years ago? Ah, yes. The trial of Zach Grammary pulled his famous vanishing. My brother won his fair share of praise and adoration for that trial, as I recall. Genius prosecutor reveals crooked attorney for it. Oh, they can just feel the malice in that line. Ugh. <laughs> that was when I met you, wasn't it? Was it now? The Bar Association Review Board voted unanimously for the strictest punishment. Unanimous, save for one dissenting opinion. Yours. Really? It was my brother who was responsible for putting you in that position, after all. For seven years, we've been friends. And yet, I still don't understand you. Right, your friendship towards me was never pure. You suspected me then as you still do now, don't you? Honestly, right now, I'm not sure what I think. Hmm. I mean, I suspect, you know, I, I suspect the fuck you, out of this man. You've been rivals for seven years. You're no longer rivals. You're gay for each <laughs> other. No, this they're is not like gay for each other. Bit. It's like the opposite of that. Phoenix is married. <laughs> you didn't just brain a guy with a juice bottle for no reason. Tell me why you did it. Persistent, aren't you? I came here because I remembered something. The night of our game, Zach Grammary mentioned your name, Gavin. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, Chad. No. After that, he was killed, and I asked you to help me. Wait. Yes. Because I remembered your kindness back then when everyone had turned on me. 
Yeah. Please don't make Gavin a this. black void. <laughs> I mean, you might as well do it. We don't want him in this game anymore. He has so many cool sprites, though. He does have cool sprites. <laughs> He's fine! He's back! Good. <laughs> I have to know. Why did you kill Shady Smith? No, Zach Grammary. I figured as much. Why are those colored differently? They're pure black. W Whoa, I've never seen psyche locks like these. Dark, cold, full of despair. Oh my God, he's Junko's dad. Can I even unlock these things? Something's wrong, right? What is up with those? What is up indeed? N no, it's nothing. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Life is to be taken easy, you know. Huh? What? Nails. He's doing his nails. Wait, he paints his nails? Yeah, he's a feminine man. His nails. Hell yeah! <laughs> That envelope's been bothering me since I came in here. It's not nice to pick at other people's mail. You get mail in he here in jail? That I do, so they read it first, apparently. Still, I am allowed the pleasure of correspondence. Packages and the like are a different matter, however. Hmm. Looks like sneaking a peek is out of the question. Can I look at this real quick? Yeah, sure. I was thinking, what self-respecting man would use nail polish onto you, homophobe? I wasn't actually thinking this. <laughs> Not really. I know appearances are a big thing with you. You know what I say. One cannot live a beautiful life without beautiful nails. I kind of like him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you spell. respect his, his nails in life? I, I understand this man. <laughs> He's bewitched you. He's bewitched me. <laughs> First know, rate in all things. Except nothing less. That certainly does look like first rate nail polish. I like the sparkly bottle. It's crystal. If you're so drawn to it, please have one. It's on me. Phoenix, paint your nails! Wait, that's <laughs> gotta be important. I mean, we know somebody who has a sim the same nail polish. What color, what color is that? It doesn't matter, it's nail polish. <laughs> it's just nail polish. It's just, it's just nail polish. Hmm. Aria Done? I don't know. I've heard of that brand. And this must be the brand symbol. It's supposed to be some kind of flower. Wait, no. Maybe it's a hand. Wait, on second thought. Is that an eagle? Who makes these things up anyway? You think it's they try for a clearer symbol at least? I mean, I think that might be the point. All right, I think are we done here? You can examine a bit more. There's there's a few more funny bits of dialogue you can get. Oh yeah, yeah, that bird. It's strange, it's you know. Here I am in solitary, and yet the books keep piling up. Looks like you've got more books up there. Ah, yes, my collection. I have a few friends on the prison staff. They show me a little kindness. Just a little? Huh. This guy, yeah. the people in here are very corrupt, huh? You should look at the portrait like on the, that. On the uh, side table there. The port, oh, this? I feel like, Chris I feel like Christoph could, like, could ask a jail staff for a gamer chair and they will give it to him. I can, no, I can't, <laughs> I can't look at it. Oh, uh, darn. Nice roses. You taking care of this one here? Ah, yes. She's surprisingly delicate, you know. Requires careful tending, but she is my best friend, as they say. Best? Come on. Now I'm starting to feel bad for you. Oh? Of course, she's known to bite if handled roughly. Y your rose bites? <laughs> I was speaking of the photo next to the rose. Oh! A retriever, Von Gol, cute but feisty. 
Every dog has its thorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. That's a very, very good line. All right, we're done here. Goodbye. Yeah,